I go give it another taste. Yeah, it's just classic. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with that. I just love how easy it is, how rounded it is. I'm really liking those bourbon flavors. I like the cherry. I like the oak. I like the honey. I like the vanilla. A little bit of brown sugar. Not overly sweet. Again, nothing is outliers. Everything is just bourbon. Classic bourbon. Welcome to Whiskey is a Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano. And in today's journey, we are going to head out of Ireland and we're going to head to Kentucky. And we're going to be taking a look at some Kentucky straight bourbons from Buffalo Trace. Now, if you guys are new to the channel and you're not subscribed, over the next six weeks, I'm going to be doing a dive into Buffalo Trace. I'm going to go ahead and start with the namesake, Buffalo Trace, and then I'm going to hit some of the other selections. So if you guys are interested in this kind of content and you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification so when I do go live with one of these reviews, you'll be notified. So let me go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and we'll go ahead and start out with Buffalo Trace. Give me one second. All right, much better. Now I have some uh, some operating room. Again, my name is Peter Fasciano. This is Whiskey is a Journey. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at Buffalo Trace. Let's go ahead and pour it, nose it, taste it, and talk about it. So Buffalo Trace, coming out of Buffalo Trace Distillery, is like the quintessential bourbon. When people talk about bourbon, and they're looking to recommend something for somebody maybe just getting into whiskey and the bourbon uh, scene, Buffalo Trace is usually one of those um, products that comes up. So yeah, just those classic bourbon flavors and aromas. You got some oak in there, you got some vanillas, you got caramel, you've got honey, slight amount of cherry, not a lot. But when you think bourbon and you think classic bourbon, this is definitely something that uh, comes to mind. So looking at Buffalo Trace, this is coming in at 46% ABV. I do believe it is chill filtered. And in order to have Kentucky straight bourbon, in order to have straight on the label, you cannot have the E150. So this is all natural color. Phoenix, Arizona, $25. This has been hit and miss uh, with people from the internet saying that it's difficult to find. Being in Phoenix, Arizona, I have never had an issue finding this on the shelves, whether it's a grocery store, whether it's a big box store, or whether it's just one of my local liquor stores. I have always seen this, and it's never been off of the shelves. So if you're someplace in the country where you have a difficult time uh, seeing this, hopefully you're not paying more than $25. And if you do know if this is not chill filtered, leave some comments down below. And if you are also familiar with Buffalo Trace, let me know down below what you guys think of it. Again, like I said, vanilla, honey, a little bit of cherry, a little bit of oak, not a whole lot of ethanol blast, just a good overall nose. Can't go wrong with that. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. All right, even with that first sip of the day, I'm not getting a whole lot of ethanol burn. It goes down pretty easy. On the palate, everything from the nose is coming through on the palate. You've get the, you got that oak, you got the vanilla, you got the honey, you got a little bit of caramel, a little bit of cherry, a little bit of brown sugar. Just overall, it just kind of coats the mouth. It's well-rounded. Nothing too out of the ordinary, nothing too interesting, nothing too complex. It's just <laughs> straight down home plate, a very good, well-rounded, I don't want to say entry level because this is good at at any level of whiskey drinking. All right, so uh, what do we know about this? Let me go give it another taste. Yeah, it's just classic. I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong with that. I just love how easy it is, how rounded it is. I'm really liking those bourbon flavors. I like the cherry, I like the oak, I like the honey, I like the vanilla, a little bit of brown sugar, not overly sweet. Again, nothing is outliers. Everything is just bourbon, classic bourbon. So we're taking a look at the age on this. It's a non-age statement whiskey or non-age statement bourbon. And I believe the consensus out there is anywhere from six-ish to eight-ish years old. 
This is coming from the mash bill number one from Buffalo Trace, which is going to be rumored again, somewhere around a little bit less than 10% rye. And we're aged in New American Oak. Harlan Wheatley is the master distiller coming in the long line of like exceptional master distillers. As I go through my Buffalo Trace whiskeys, I'm gonna be giving you more and more information about the distillery and about previous master distillers. And with that being said, Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace Distillery was not always Buffalo Trace. They renamed the distillery back in 1999 after their renovations. And the Buffalo Trace name comes from Buffalo traces of buffalo crossing the Kentucky River. 200 years of distilling experience. It's the oldest continuous operating bourbon distillery in America, owned by the Sazerac Corporation, the Sazerac Company, back in 1992. Yeah, just vanilla, honey, easy to smell, easy to taste. Now again, we have that low mash bill. This is mash bill number one. Again, probably 10% less, 10% uh, or less on rye. There's a couple of other bourbons that I'm gonna be taking a look at that are going to have just about the same mash bill. And then we're also gonna talk about like mash bill two and, and some of the other um, expressions that they have. So not really much to, to be said about Buffalo Trace other than it is a good, solid, straight down the middle, home plate, classic bourbon, classic nose, classic flavors, classic finish. Even though it is 46% ABV, it still kind of lingers on the tongue. You just kind of keep wanting to go back for more. Nothing outstanding, nothing underwhelming as well. It's just solid, just solid. Now, because I'm adding water to everything else in these reviews, I'm gonna go ahead and add water to this as well. And when you are adding water to any bourbons or single malts or uh, any whiskeys, make sure that the water that you guys are using is filtered, it's not tap water. You don't want to influence or bring in any other flavors. And usually distilled water doesn't really necessarily have that much of a flavor, if any flavor at all. And it's just going to change the complexity or the presentation of the whiskey itself. Again, water soluble particles kind of get mixed in there, brings the oils to the top. Sometimes it will change a whiskey drastically, other times it won't change it at all, and other times it will just change it for the worse, waters it down, proofs it down, and you just kind of lose the initial flavors. Now this brought out more cherry, either that or I'm being acclimated to the whiskey, but I'm getting more cherry, more vanilla. Let's see if it did anything to the palate. Softened it a bit, gave it a little bit more of a uh, barrel tang on the side of my tongue. Initially just a little bit hotter, but it kind of goes away and maybe that hot, that hotness is just a uh, a barrel tang. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it at that. It's just a it's a it's just the, the barrel, the barrel tannins. Doesn't really necessarily taste any hotter than 46% ABV. Yeah. <laughs> There's really not much more to say. So let's go ahead and get right on to the scoring. I am not going to compare this to any of my American single malts or Irish single malts. So I'm starting fresh with my bourbons and all of my bourbons are going to be scored on bourbons themselves. This is solid. Um, it is a good taster. It's, it, I mean, it's easy to drink. It's easy to recommend. A little bit of water, it still holds up. It's got those classic flavors. It does well on the, uh, on the palate and even on the finish. Cherry, honey, caramel, vanilla. Let's go ahead and start this one off at 3.75, just classic. And I'm putting this at 3.75, that seems to be pretty high, but I can't find much fault in this at all, just because it hits every note that you want a bourbon to hit, maybe with the exception of complexity. This is not a bourbon that you're gonna break down and talk about for hours and try to find you know, different things here and there. I mean, it, it is what it is. So 3.75, and let's go ahead and see how other bourbons are going to stack up against the namesake, Buffalo Trace Distillery, Buffalo Trace Bourbon. Until next time, enjoy your journey. I'm Peter Fasciano. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.